Uh, good afternoon. I'm going to revise with you 2018 GCE Paper 1, Mathematics, where the first question goes as follows. Simplify four open bracket x plus 2y close bracket minus open bracket 3x minus 8y. So to simplify this expression, first step, we have to remove the brackets by distributing 4 and negative 1. So this will be 4 times x, it's 4x, 4 times 2y, it's 8y. Negative times positive 3x, it's negative 3x. Negative times negative 8y, it's positive 8y. After distributing, or after removing the brackets, now we have to collect the like terms, of which we are going to have 4x minus 3x plus 8y plus 8y. Remember when you are collecting the like terms on an expression, the signs they should maintain. You have to pick the term with the, the sign. So after collecting the like terms, we have to simplify it further. So we have 4x minus 3x, which is going to have, which we are going to have x. Then 8y plus 8y, it's 16y. So at this point, we cannot simplify it further because they are in like terms according to the laws of algebra. Question 2, evaluate 27 evaluate 27 to the power 2 thirds. So this question it is under indices and for us to answer this one we have to apply this law from the laws of indices which states that a to the power m over n it is equivalent to where n will be on the root, then a under the root, then m will be the power. So we have to identify. So which means 3, it is going to be on the root, 27 under the root, then 2, it is going to be our power. Which simply means that we have to look for the cube root of 27, the number we can multiply 3 times to give us 27, which is 3. Then we have to consider power 2 there. So 3 to the power 2, it is going to be 9. So this is how you should answer such a problem. We go to question 3. A straight line passes through A three comma two and B five comma Y as gradient of negative 2 as gradient of negative 2 find the value of y find the value of y so this question it is under coordinate geometry and uh, to be specific it is talking about gradient so we have to produce the formula for gradient gradient equal to delta y over delta x which means gradient equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we have two coordinates given. 
we shall label this one as x1, y1, x2, y2. So gradient we have which is negative 2. So where there is m we are going to replace negative 2. Then y2, it's y. Then y1, we have 2 over x2, we have 5. Minus x1, we have uh, 3. So this one will be negative 2 equal to y minus 2 over 5 minus 3, which is equal to 2. So now to balance up the equation, we have to introduce the denominator 1, then we close multiply. So it will be y minus 2 times 1, which is y minus 2, equal to negative 2 times 2, it's negative 4. So the question is to look for the value of y. At this point, we have to take negative 2 to the other side, which is going to be negative 4 plus 2. So y equal to negative 4 plus 2, it's negative 2. So this is how you can find the value of uh, y. So for more questions, you can uh, ask. Okay, we continue. We go to question 4. Factorize five x squared minus five. Factorize completely. So to factorize this problem, we have to check the coefficients as well as the variables. So the common factor here is five. So we shall remain with the x squared minus 1. But they want us to factorize this expression completely. So we cannot end here because we have the co-function, which is a difference of two squares expression. So we have to expand it. So it will be 5 open square bracket, open circle bracket, x squared minus, I mean, to be x minus 1 close bracket and open bracket x plus 1. So this is how you can factorize. Question 5. Use the set notation to describe the shaded region in the Venn diagram. So they want us to use the set notation to describe the shaded region. The shaded region represents the solution region. The unshaded region represents the unwanted region. So this one can be described as open bracket A union B close bracket intersection C complement or C complement intersection open bracket A union B cross. Then you are done. Question 6. Given that 
matrix C equal to 5, 2, negative 1, 1. And matrix D equal to 1, negative 2. Express CD as a single matrix. Express CD as a single matrix. So CD, what they want is us to multiply matrix C to matrix D. So this one will be law by column concept. So when you are multiplying, you have to consider law by column. So it will be 5 times 1, it's see, 5 plus negative 1 times negative 2, which is positive 2. 2 times 1, it's 2 plus 1 times negative 2, it's negative 2. 5 plus 2, it's see, 7 Positive times negative, it's negative 2 minus 2, it's 0. You're done. Next question is under arithmetic progression, which is question 7. Question 7. The first three terms in an arithmetic progression are 5, 5, 7, and 9. Find the common difference. That's part A. Find the common difference. So the common difference is donated by D. So to find the common difference, we have to apply the formula T2 minus T1, which is equal to T3 minus T2. So we are going to label the terms T1, T2, T3. So common difference will be equal to our T2, it's 7, minus T1, it's 5, which is equal to T3, we have 9. Minus T2, we have 7. So the common difference will be 7 minus 5, which is e, which is 2. Then 9 minus 7, it's 2. Therefore, the common difference will be equal to 2. That's part A. Then for part B, the sum, find the sum of the first 12 terms. Find the sum of the first 12 terms. Find the sum of the first 12 terms. 